Thousands of Muslim refugees headed to Idaho. We need to keep Idaho, Idaho. The city of Twin Falls is known for the spectacular Shoshone Falls. It's also now host to a spectacular swindle, the resettlement of more than 2,000 high-risk refugees from the Middle East and Africa at taxpayer expense. That's right, you're footing the bill for the importation of culturally alien, welfare-dependent populations. Not surprisingly, a large number of U.S.-bound refugees are coming from countries with large numbers of people who hate us, including Somalia, Afghanistan, Iraq, and soon from Syria, just to name a few. The U.S. State Department then distributes the refugees to nine major federal contractors, six of which are so-called religious charities, but all are largely funded from the U.S. Treasury. They're not passing the plate on Sundays for the $1 billion price tag for the resettlement. And that figure does not include the extensive welfare benefits refugees receive. The Refugee Center, operated by the College of Southern Idaho, helps the United Nations and the Obama administration import third world welfare seekers into Twin Falls. Refugees are offered a generous benefit program. Refugees arriving in the United States, and in particular Twin Falls, are eligible for federally prescribed benefits. They are eligible for a medical card for the first eight months in the U.S. with some extensions possible for families with children. Each family is eligible for food stamps based on their income. Each voluntary agency resettling refugees is provided an amount per refugee by the federal government that goes to pay for the initial resettlement of the refugee family. That amount pays for the first month's rent and deposit, beginning foodstuffs, limited startup household items as prescribed by the federal government, some pocket money, and for the administrative costs of running the resettlement program, staff, facilities, etc. What a racket! After the first 30 days in Idaho, a cash assistance program, transitional refugee assistance, based on the family size begins. Your tax dollars pay for it all. This from the American Freedom Party. Even Idaho is being forced to accept non-whites despite the fact that in an online poll taken by the Idaho Press Tribune, 56.4 were, quote, very concerned about Syrian refugees being brought to Twin Falls, Idaho. Well, they should be even more concerned about the Somalis and Congolese, very crime-prone populations, who have already arrived in Twin Falls. On Saturday, August 1, the American Freedom Party sent an automated telephone call to every residential phone number in Idaho to inform them that this non-white invasion of their state and all white areas constitutes white genocide. Wake up, Idaho. Europe, America, and all white countries are fast becoming overwhelmingly non-white because you are afraid to take a stand. Well, some Idahoans are taking a stand. Conservative activists are calling for the College of Southern Idaho to remove its refugee program following concerns over the influx of Syrian refugees expected to arrive in south-central Idaho later this fall. This from someone who wrote in to the Times News, I have spent the past couple of weeks in Twin Falls. What a great community. I have been paying attention to the articles in the Times News about the College of Southern Idaho refugee program. Magic Valley residents, please pay attention to what is going on regarding resettling refugees from the Middle East. If this takes hold in the Magic Valley, your community will never be the same. And that, of course is part of the goal of refugee resettlement, to transform communities. That is now the official policy of the Obama administration with regard to any city, any town, any neighborhood 
that is deemed to be insufficiently diverse. Changing America by changing the people. A group has formed calling for the College of Southern Idaho to shut down its refugee center program, but the College of Southern Idaho doesn't want to hear any opposition. Well, perhaps it's time that the Refugee Center at the College of Southern Idaho hear from you. Perhaps it's time that the Idaho Office for Refugees hear from you. The College of Southern Idaho has heard from me. We need to keep Idaho, Idaho.